Okay, so now it's time to add some MIDI instruments to our set inside Live Intro. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to our device browser, which is right above the file folders in our Live Browser, and I'll click, and there we go. I've got audio effects, MIDI effects, and instruments. I'm going to go ahead and open up Live Intro's instrument folder, go to our instrument racks, and now I'm going to go find a sound that I can play along with our groove over here in the session view. Let's go ahead and launch these clips on these audio tracks once again. I want to point out there's a handy way to launch all these at the same time along this row of clips over here to the far right in the master section. We have what's called the scenes and the scenes align each row from left to right. And there's also a launch button within each scene. So I'll activate that and launch all three of our clips on three audio tracks. So we'll let this play, go back over to our device browser. We're inside our instrument rack, so now it's time to go find some MIDI instruments to work with. So let's go down, let's see what we can come up with here. How about synth lead? Let's go ahead and open up that folder, let's see what that has to offer. Like lead sync, lead square. Let's try lead square. So I'll click and hold and drag that right into MIDI track four and there we go you see it's record enabled I've got my MIDI instrument device down below let's go ahead and play some notes here kind of like that so let's talk about recording a MIDI clip into the session view I'll go to track four I'll highlight that now at any point in time I can simply click on the record button inside this MIDI clip or I could stop the transport and give myself a count in as well. Let's do that. So I'll get a count in of four and I'll start playing my instrument part on track four. And I'll punch out, just clicking that activation button there. So now it's gonna cycle around in sync with my audio tracks and actually see what's going on in our MIDI note editor by just double clicking on the MIDI clip. And now you can see the notes down below. Coming back around at the end of bar four. Great, I like that. So I'm gonna leave that as it is, keep everything playing, and let's go find another MIDI instrument to play along with our lead synth sound. So I'll close up synth lead here. Go down and see what else we have. Piano and keys, that sounds good. Let's go see what's inside this folder. Maybe an electric piano of some kind here. How about Keys Old School Mark II with a wah, add a little flavor here. So I'll click and hold, and I'll drag that into the session view, and it will actually create a brand new MIDI track with that MIDI instrument, and there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and arm that track down below the meter section there. Let's go ahead and audition that by playing some notes here. So I'm just kind of auditioning some parts here. Kind of like that. So this time, I'm going to go ahead and stop the transport. I want to point out our quantization menu. And this allows you to quantize the input of your MIDI notes as you play inside live intro. That's under our edit menu. So we'll just go down to record quantization. And I'll set that up on 16th. Nice round quantization value there. And that way everything will line up as I play it in as I'm recording it. Great. So let's go back over here to track five. Got our electric piano there. A little wah sound. Kind of like that. So I'm going to go ahead and play a bar or two of that as well. So I'll just click on my record enable button inside the MIDI clip. Get that count off. Here we go. So I'll just keep playing a couple of more bars here. Punch out. I'm going to go ahead and double click to see what's going on in the MIDI editor. Ah, there we go. It's great. So down below, not only do I see my notes playing along the grid here, to the right, I've actually got my note ruler. So I'll just click on the left side of it, and I'll pull down 
with my mouse to get that display. I can also click and hold with my magnifier to the left of the note ruler and zoom in on those notes as well. You'll also notice that we see the velocity values down below the MIDI note editor too. See, I got a little hot down here at the end. I'll kind of highlight these notes. Go down to the velocity editor and I'll click and hold. There we go. Round it out a little bit better there. So I kind of like that. So we're going to leave that as it is. Got two MIDI tracks, got our three original audio tracks. Again, everything playing, all synced together. Let's find one more MIDI instrument. I like to add a little sound here on the top end just to kind of round things out here. So I'm going to go up. Here we go. Let's go to Synth Bleep. Open this up. And I think I'm going to take Synth Percu Blip. How about that? So we'll drag that MIDI instrument right out of the device browser into the session view, drop it right in like before. There we go. I'll record enable the synth per track here. Play a couple of notes. Now I could play that in with my keyboard like we did before, but I'd actually like to step that in. I'd like to enter those notes in note by note in the MIDI note editor. So what I'll do is I'll double click on the blank MIDI clip slot. Brings up our MIDI note editor down below and it makes a template if you will. And if you'll see that the length is set at a bar, I can adjust that if I wanted to. Two bars, three bars, but I'll keep it at a bar. And I'm going to go up very top. I'm going to turn on my pencil tool and now this will allow me to enter in some note values along the timeline in our MIDI note editor. Let's go back over here to the left of the note ruler again. Take our magnifier, click and hold. Pull our mouse to the right, sort of zoom in just a little bit. And I also want to turn on my MIDI editor preview button right here at the top of the note ruler. This will allow me to actually hear the notes that I'm entering in with my pencil. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and draw on a couple of notes here. Draw on this G, maybe draw on this B flat here. And last but not least, maybe we'll bring in a C note here. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and disengage the record enable button. I'm going to play scene one once more. Let's see how all that sounds together. Now, that last note's coming in just a little behind of where I wanted it. I'd like to actually have it come in here, so I'll actually just click with my pencil tool on that note. It'll take it right out. There we go. Got it right where I want it. So now I've got three MIDI tracks playing from left to right. My synth percussion over here in the last MIDI track along with my audio track. So now I've got my groove set.